Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Mech Warrior 2. I'm Computer, and last episode, I got a promotion to Nova Commander by defeating two other Mech Warriors. Had I defeated one, I would have become a Star Commander, but I defeated two. I'm sure they jumped out and I didn't actually kill them. That would be mm, unpleasant. And I'm not entirely sure what we're up to today. Codename, Boke Obelisk. This is one of the better pieces of music in the soundtrack. All of the tracks in the soundtrack is uh, are named after the uh, missions they appear in. But anyway, Planet, Devon's Moon, Macduff, Terrain, Crater, Slash Vacuum, and Time is at Dusk. All right. Even now, enemy units on the surface of the planet Devon below have engaged our second Falcon Jaegers and the first Striker Cluster. Here on Devon's moon, Macduff, Viber sensors have detected a binary level mobilization to the south. The enemy is intent on finding and taking our isotope processor dome. Sounds like a defense mission again. We must blunt the enemy's assault. You are to perform a combat patrol across the south quadrant, following your nav sequence and engage and destroy any and all opposition that you encounter. All right. Objectives, primary, destroy any and all opposition you encounter. Got it. Return isotope processor nav phi. Okay, yeah, it sounds like a defense mission, but we're actually being a little bit more proactive. So let's see what the situation is. That's a lot of text. How can you believe the wolves will attempt another attack? Look out your canopy. Even now, our elementals are rounding up their mech warriors to be used as bondsmen. We have one, Star Captain. Let us return to the command center to report our victory to Star Colonel Hoyt. Star Captain Matthew von Jankmon stared into the swirling sandstorm. It was true that the wolves had lost many battle mechs to the Falcon's Charlie trinary, but something felt wrong. The fighting had been fierce at first, then the wolves seemed to lose their taste for combat. Some of their mechs actually ran from the field. Yeah, something was definitely wrong. Star Commander Trevor, you will take your star to the northwest quadrant and post a watch for any enemy mechs. Alert me before engaging any opposition, von Jankmon ordered. I will follow your orders, Star Captain, but you are overestimating the danger here. I am certain that our other units have achieved similar successes. Von Jankmon was about to rebuke Trevor for his insubordination when a brilliant orange explosion filled his view screen. He quickly glanced down at his radar display but saw only the same meaningless interference that had filled it since the electrical storm began. He looked up just in time to see a line of wolf omnimex emerging from the swirling sands blowing around him. Von Jankmon thumbed the red button on his right joystick, a wave of heat filled his cockpit to, and set alarm screaming as all the weapons on his mech fired in unison. The timber wolf in front of him staggered and crumbled under the assault, but Von Jankmon calculated that the heat in his mechs would not permit him to fire his weapons again for a full four seconds. Pushing the machine's throttle forward, he twisted the mech towards the north and set it running. Blue bolts of artificial lightning singed its left arm and opened a gaping wound in its rare right torso. And the star captain instinctively thrust the controls to the left, a flight of LRMs flashed past his cockpit, and he turned to see the tattered and smoking timber wolf approaching him. He triggered the red button once more, watching as twin blue beams carved into the mech's torso and set off a blinding explosion. Situation. When Khan Natasha Kerensky reached the Devon system, she reported her total losses so far at just under 32% for mechs and equipment and 8% for personnel. But these figures did not reflect the true toll the campaign had taken on her forces. Many of the seriously injured had been sent to the Inner Sphere with Sakan Felon Ward, and only Battlefield Salvage kept many of her mechs operational. Moreover, the fighting of the past month had left many of her more experienced units severely fatigued. Still, several of her clusters had not seen action yet and remained anxious to join the fray. The battle on Devon would provide ample opportunities for fighting and dying. The Falcons had garrisoned the planet with the second Falcon Jaegers and the first Striker Cluster. Both battle-tested veteran units, even uh, the weather seemed to challenge mech warriors. 
Severe electrical storms and high winds ravaged the desert planet, conditions that would render sensors almost useless. Shortly after the Wolf jump ships entered the Devon system, a malfunctioning sail array delayed the attack force for three days, an omen that seemed to bode ill for the wolves. Actually, hold on. Uh, flight of LRM past cockpit. Blue bolts of artificial lightning. That's PPCs. I still don't understand why they make them look like balls of lightning. But, oh well. And actually, hold on. Abort. Still haven't played around here. I'm tempted to keep this. The problem with the Nova is that you can't look left or right much. Well, about 10 degrees left or right. So we're gonna go up. Stormcrow. And we're gonna keep you. Maybe we'll remove. Actually, would that be a good idea? No, wrong, wrong button. Let's see, remove the small. We now have points. Well, we can add some armor with that. Yeah. And let's not forget to actually apply the armor, too. Oh, never mind. Really? I guess we already have the max, then. Hmm. <laughs> but the, you're the only one. Oh, no. You're the only one that weighs that actually... But that, it gives us a ton of ammo as well. All right. Um, abort. We're just going to take it as is. And uh, accept. And launch. Satellite. Macduff. Ambient temperature, negative 127.33 degrees. Atmosphere, hostile. Local time is 15.53.12 GST. All systems nominal. Thank you. We are very, very close to the sun. If it's this bright on a moon. Yeah, the heat might get to yeah. us. Sigma reached. Okay, it does work, but I'm too fast. Message. Friendly unit reports navigational trouble. Max branded at nav upsilon. Upsilon. Give me a second. That's an elemental, I think. Falcon Hellbringer. Oh, it's a friend. Never mind then. We shall. There. There. Escort friendly unit to isotope processor nav phi. Enemy power up detected. Understood. Friendly damaged unit reports situation to be attracted. Multiple hostile units detected within the perimeter. Enemy power up detected. Heat level critical. I got it. Stop Heat telling it there. Enemy mech destroyed. Heat level critical. I get it, I get it. There. Probably have an SRM4 somewhere as well. Well, that's my friend. Okay, I guess I'm killing you. Enemy mech destroyed. Incoming. 
Incoming yeah. message. Friendly damaged unit proceeding to isotope processor. Good. Keep going. Trying to deal with. Oh, nice. Still have some over here. It's a fire moth. Wow. Oh, thank you for hiding. Stormcrow versus Stormcrow. Ow. to die. How can you... Do you have... Oh, well, leg it is then. Ah, now. Very close. And I... Hmm. Group fire Let's do engaged. that. Epsilon... Is fine. Phi... Maybe. Ah! See you. Wolf Nova. Oh! Large laser. You have jump jets, which is not great for me. Overridden. Thank you. There, I don't think you have any more weapons. Though I probably... No, you have something. Oh, wow, hello. Another what? You're a... Rifleman? You... You have a small something on you. Don't like that, but... You have large ones. Yes, shoot your friends. More than you shoot me, please. I am gonna take this time to run away a little bit. I guess the people I saved before didn't actually survive. Ow. I should have checked if I could have people with me. Oh, wait. You're targeting my other torso. I know. Thank you. I don't think I'm actually... Am I seeing through the thing? Ah, now you are actually... Fleeing, okay. Well, let's stop that from happening.
Thank you. Oh, oh, you did survive. Good. Yeah. All right. Um, could have gone better. I should also have checked if I could bring a, f a friend with me. This is... Phi, yes. Hmm. You could have helped me a little bit. Just saying. Mission successful. Not only were you able to neutralize the opposition in the quadrant, but you were able to bring your stranded comrade to safety. This kind of action in the field is to be commended. Escort friendly unit to isotope. Successful. Destroy any and all opposition encountered. Successful. Isotope processor. Now if I return. Yes, yes. Successful. And I killed seven mechs. And star underweight bonus 25, yes, but um, I want to know what my accuracy was like. Because it cannot have been, well, maybe it was, no, it can't have been zero, because I actually did hit something, but. All right, all right. Well, the Kishik is vigilant and has noted your actions. I'm, um, that sounds vaguely threatening. Aftermath. The sting of sand blowing against his face evoked Star Commander Trevor. His eyes shut tight against the abrasive grit he felt along the outer edges of his neuro helmet. The viewplate had been smashed. He then remembered his head striking his battle mix instrument array. Reaching down to his chin, he unfastened the heavy headpiece and removed it. Sand ran like water down the sides of his face and the mech warrior realized he might have drowned in sand had he not awakened when he did. As it dawned on the Star Commander that he could not feel his legs, he wondered whether such a death might have been desirable. Invalids were not much use in battle, and clan society relegated such unfortunates to its lower castes. After a moment, the mech warrior took a deep breath, shielded his eyes from the sand, and looked down. The entire lower section of his cockpit was filled with sand. Beautiful black sand. After bailing sand for 20 minutes, his blood began to circulate freely through his legs again, and the Star Commander was able to free himself from his command couch restraints. As he began to crawl from the downed mech, he saw the remains of what had once been Charlie Trinary. Twisted, blackened battle mechs and elementals littered Otsung Plain. Thirty meters away lay a smoldering hulk he recognized as the remains of Star Captain von Jankmon's warhawk. At the edge of the wreckage, Trevor spotted the Star Captain's body, blistered with burns. Activating his distress beacon, Trevor began walking towards the north. When he rejoined the Falcon forces, he learned they had won the battle on Devin. The wolves had lost 47% of their mechs and equipment and 22% uh, of it their personnel. Trevor found little savor in the victory. Uh, 20 minutes without blood circulating to the legs. Surprised he could walk at all. But, uh, oh well. Exit, not replay. And... Hmm... I'm not really sure how the game expects you to take on, what was it, four, five mechs? And not take damage. And also, the more damage you take, the more heat sinks you lose, because with the Stormcrow, they kind of have to be in the arms, I think. Let's double check that. Oh! Nice. 75 ton max though. Rifle Helbre Mad Dog. Helbre Rifleman. Yeah. Hell Mad Dog Stormcrow. There you are. Customize. Sign criticals. Yeah. Losing three hidden sinks is pretty big. Although I also lost a large and a medium laser. So kinda balance out a little bit. Unless I also lost the side torso. Hmm. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. 
But that would have been disastrous as well. There you are. We have a, sh a shotgun. We have an LRM-15 and an ERPPC. Or we could go with Gauss Rifle, which I haven't tested out in this game yet. And a large pulse laser. Basically the same variant I have in Battletech at the moment. Very good sniper. Uh, unless the Gauss Rifle is just like the PPC in that it's just a slow moving projectile. We shall have to see. Or this one, although it seems like it would be very, very hot. Maybe remove the SRM-4s? Alternatively, change the LRM-20s into SRM-6s. That could be fun. Because SRMs are deadly in this game. But so are the LRM-20s. Yeah, I'm probably going to remove the SRM-4s and put in more heatsinks to offset the four medium la pulse lasers. Yeah, but that's gonna have to be next episode. For now, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been MechWarrior2, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Planet Epsilier. Ambient temperature, 87.24 degrees. Local time is 12.46.24 GST. All systems nominal.